So Chloe's my dog. She's my very special dog. Um, and actually what she's doing right now is very typical of something she does every morning. Uh, first thing when we walk in the office is it's cookie time. So uh, it is not first thing in the morning right now. We have all had lunch. We were out, all outside a few minutes ago. So now she's just kind of reminding me that it's still cookie time. So it really isn't cookie time, but you know what? I can't give her too many cookies. Anyway, so what can I tell you about Chloe? Chloe was born to be a guide dog for the blind. But you know, true to Chloe's form, Chloe beats to her own drum. She does what Chloe wants to do. So I think she decided quick, pretty early on she wanted a career change, didn't want to be a guide dog, and wanted to be a canine company dog. So Chloe comes to work here every day. I think she likes this job a lot better, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, who wouldn't, you know? Chloe has been around for a long time. Uh, my experience with Chloe, uh, she is so chill that she almost has no pulse. So we were doing a first aid class for our pet visitors and we tried to use Chloe as an example of how to find a dog's pulse and she was literally so relaxed because she was getting belly rubs. So that's how you find a dog's pulse in the, in the bottom um, right where their back leg touches their abdomen. We were looking and looking and looking. Even her mom couldn't find her pulse. That's how chill Chloe is. So Chloe, you know, when you see her face and her eyes, it's like she's wearing like eyeliner. To it reminds me of like that song, you know, Betty Davis Eyes. It's quite interesting. And you know, it's funny cause she'll come over and she'll lay underneath the desk and she'll hang out there all day just with us. And then, uh, you know, we know she's here cause then we received the email from Jen and Eric saying, hey, if Chloe is there, kick her out. It's time to go home. It's quite funny. There's this weird soft unspoken rule, I think, between all the other dogs that she's just the queen. She runs this place. So Chloe definitely knows the place is hers. You'll just be working, you know, sitting there at your desk, and you'll feel like a gentle nudge, a little, a little soft, wet nose. And it'll just be Chloe right there, just looking for some pets, looking to lay under your desk. So when Jen and Eric leave to go to lunch, she'll start wandering around like, where did mom and dad go? And then She'll come up to us and just lay under our desk until they come back and then she'll go back down to them. Chloe's just the best. She's just the sweetest little girl. Chloe is so special, the canine company. Chloe is like the grand lady of the canine company campus. She's one of the first dogs that I interacted with. She's very regal. She's very elegant. She's very sweet. I love to see her walk into the office always with a smile on her face. Love to see her romping in the snow. All the other dogs love her. All the other canine company employees love her. She's just a true, true gem. You gotta have two things when you're around her. You need one of these. And you need these. <laughs> it's probably the biggest shedder on campus. So you're after a visit in the morning, I need uh, to de-lint myself with one of these. And lately, I don't know, it's just about your old age, but her breath is a little stinky, so I'd like to give her these. I don't, but we need these for dogs. She's the worst breath I've ever smelled. Chloe's a sweetheart. She does have some smelly breath. Chloe can definitely use a breath thing. Kind of got that old lady breath going. Yeah, Chloe, she's something else. She's uh, very sensitive. They love her to death. Uh, I would hate to have her nickname leaked to her. We call her Alatosis mainly because of that fish market she keeps in her mouth. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Chloe is not your normal lab. Most labs I've ever had, all they wanna do is eat. Uh, Chloe likes food, but she only likes it if it's the food she likes. So she's very particular. Um, she will actually stand there, sniff the bowl, look at you, like that's it. It's gotta be what she feels like eating. And, and God forbid you feed her the same thing you know, over and over again, because she's just like, yeah, th done with that. Chloe is uh, just a happy dog, though. She's really, you know, kind of low-key, easygoing, um, and she loves a lot of love. You know, I think the only thing is um, she has some stinky breath. Um, but, you know, for 12 and a half, she looks damn good. I'd say that girl's got it.